All right, y'all. So I messed up. I, if you watched through the, to the end of that other video, I said that I was gonna post a a video of the garden, I'm watching one of my chickens, hoping she don't get out. But uh, I accidentally hit stop instead of rotate the camera, so I'm gonna actually rotate it this time and just give you a little look. It's nothing fancy, but. So I still got some like weeding to do and stuff. It's never ending. But <clears throat> so right here, this is I just planted these, and right here I planted uh, pole beans alongside the fence, and I planted those later because I have some bush beans that I've already planted. And then right here, I have my. One decent looking cantaloupe, I mean a uh, cucumber, and then I have a little pitiful thing right there that has, was eaten on, but it's coming back now. And these were burpless cucumbers, but I ended up getting seeds from a feed store down the road from me, and I ended up getting um, uh, like a pickling cucumber. So... I've got some sweet peppers. Some of them are a little yellow towards the end. I don't know if I kind of hit them a little hard. Like, you know, I got the pigs now. And I mix that with uh, with some other stuff. And just kind of and mix it in some water. The fellow that I've seen that from, I think his name's uh, Noah the Good. He's on YouTube, but I'd seen it. He called it like swamp tea or swamp juice or something like that. And I don't know if I might have got a little heavy with it. And the first time I did it, it might have been a little too full of nitrogen still. But, and I've got some hot peppers right here. And then I've got my tomatoes next. And they're like a, they're early girls. That's what they are, I believe. I'm pretty sure if you, if you know anything about tomatoes, I th I'm pretty sure that they're still indeterminates. I'm thinking they are. I try not to get the determinants, but I may not have been paying attention either. So, And then I've got, we're not real big on yellow squash, so I've got several hills of a, like a zucchini squash, but it's not like the, the black beauty. It's a, It's kind of a lighter green with like white little stripes or stripes down it but and then from there i've got my bush beans and they go down to there those are uh cherokee waxes and then from there i've got um i've got my okra and i got what three rows of that and these are all pretty sure they're called red crim not red crimson or they're a red okra it's an heirloom seed i saved them from when i grew them the last time and uh like when you cook them they just turn green like every other okra but they uh they made out really good so i did that instead of doing the hybrid that i knew of the um um the the crimson spineless or clemson spineless is the real popular one that i already always seen folks grow and i think my family always grew that too and then here's a sad little place where i had my corn and i just replanted it like a couple of days ago so it's gonna be a little while and uh before they come back up but like i said i don't have a i don't have a goose problem anymore so I hopefully don't have anything else hate them and then right here in this little hill and that's the reason that i two reasons the the tiller that i got i was having problems with it and i really needed to order a new carburetor but i didn't order one in time to um to be able to fix it and then get everything tilled in time so but right here i just put a hill this is my cantaloupes and you can see the two small ones they had been eating on but they're coming back i think there's actually that one's one too 
but what I ended up doing is I ended up just planting some more seeds alongside of it and then depending on what happens I'll thin out as as time goes on but so that's why this is all grass like I said partly just kind of tiller issues but at the same time these cantaloupes are going to take over a really big area anyway so I'll just keep this I come in here with a weed eater and just weed eat it all but it's not a it's not a perfect look looking garden but But anyways, it's not like a, a perfect looking garden, but, and, and it's not super huge, but this will put out a lot. <coughs> I know, I mean, just, I've been learning new things over time and, uh, figuring out things that seem to work. So that's why, you know, I'll, I'll kind of flip around again. If I quit hitting the stop button and, uh, I'll show you the other thing, explain to you is, why it looks the way it does as well so so basically i mean if you look i've got just a mix of all sorts of different things in here that um uh, like old hay that was no good and i let some stuff <coughs> grow up around my yard around like the parts that uh like some of the back parts and stuff and and i cut all those down and threw those out here but for two reasons because i don't like to use i try not to use any kind of store-bought like fertilizers like <clears throat> like chemical fertilizers and then uh, or pesticides or anything so basically the two things with it is one i'm just trying to get better water retention on the ground and uh you know too slowly uh, you know over time help build the soil a little bit so but yeah i only till it first time of the year and when i'm getting the ground ready and then after that uh then i just try to mulch it and it's not a good it, at the level it is here it's not good for keeping weeds out i still have to do a lot of weeding to keep it from just taking over but at the same time it helps hold the water in so i don't i try not to water this stuff so that way they grow stronger roots and are stronger tap roots instead of just trying to develop on top of the soil that way they'll kind of help also draw into that water and that's my thinking on it anyways but that's what i've always heard so yeah but i think that's pretty much it um plenty of other stuff going around here always sometimes it's a little too much probably but that's part of life i enjoy it so well i think that's all i got for y'all so thank y'all very much